The movie begins 10 years earlier, in Rio de Janeiro. Hernan Reyes, the crime master, and his psychotic son Dante are waiting for Dom and his team to attack them. Don't live on the coffee, okay? Their theft in Brazil takes place in the streets, and Dante and his father pursue the thieves. By the time they reached the bridge, Dante had been thrown from the bridge and into the river while Dom remained behind to assure Reyes death. The present day in Los Angeles, Abuelita Toretto has flown in for the occasion, while Dom is teaching little Brian how to drive before taking him back home for a cookout. They rejoin the rest of the family at home, which includes Letty, Mia, Tej, Roman, Ramsey, and Han. Every single person in after Abuelita gives a speech, everyone eats before talking about a theft that was allegedly ordered by Little Nobody and was set to take place in Rome. We're talking about Rome. Dom explains to Letty later that Little B claimed to have no fears, but in reality, his greatest fear is losing his family. A wounded and bloodied cipher arrives at the residence shortly after. Little B is hidden by Dom and Letty before they face the cipher. Damn good reason to be here. She explained, they are about to face a greater challenge, according to Cypher, in the person of Dante. You might want to explain why you're here. I met the devil tonight. Came to my door. He previously entered her facility after killing two guards and disclosing that he had kidnapped the loved ones of Cypher's henchmen in order to influence them to change sides so that he might pursue Dom. Dominic Toretto. After stealing her hacking equipment and ordering the remaining murderers to continue killing her, he departs. Cypher fought her way out before going down an elevator shaft with one last goon before coming to the Toretto home. The rest of you have a choice. Me? Or... Little Nobody receives a call from Dom and Letty and instantly sends out operatives to capture Cypher. And everyone you love will be destroyed. When they realize that Dante had set up the Rome theft operation himself, Dom and Letty take off immediately to find others. We don't have a mission in Rome. It's a setup. While on the streets at Rome, Tej, Roman, Ramsey, and Han move their stole cargo. They thought it is a chip, but which turns out to be a massive bomb. I have the wheel. You are lonely. Oh shit! That's a big ass bomb. Dante then hacks into their trucks to make them veer into traffic before attempting to deliver the bomb to the Vatican. While Dante tries to blow them all up, Dom, Letty, and Little Nobody catch up with the rest of the group and take them underground. That's our truck. Oh my god, Dom, Ooh, look who's here. Sorry, Captain America, can't let you do that. Jam the detonator now. I got it. 
the bomb eventually rolls all the way down the hills and streets. While Letty tries to pursue Dante, but he escapes, and only she is jailed. Don catches up to the bomb and uses a crane to knock it away from the path of the Vatican, but the ensuing blast radius causes significant damage. While Dante brags to Dom about breaking up Dom's family, the gang is all labeled as terrorists and goes into hiding. At the agency, Tess, the daughter of Mr. Nobody, meets with Ames, the new director. Ames believes that Nobody was too kind on the Toretto gang because of their history of street racing and large-scale heists. Ames is able to persuade the rest of the agency's board to pursue them while Tess defends them and points out how they have arrested some very significant criminals. Everyone becomes family. It's like a cult. Rome was a matter of time. Roman brings Tej, Ramsey, and Han to London as a result of the media branding the gang as international terrorists. The city with the most amount of surveillance cameras. Perfect. When a team of agency mercenaries barges in, Mia is caring for little Brian. Little Brian hides while Mia tries to repel them, but Jakob, who had been called by Dom, comes to their rescue. Uncle Jacob? Your dad sent me. He throws a man to the ground and beats up other bad guys all around. Do you have a little babe? Mia is instructed by Jakob to find a secure location for Brian and the children while he safely returns to Dom with little Brian. Tess locates Dom in Brazil and identifies Dante for him, explaining to Dom why he is pursuing him. Look familiar? Letty has been taken to a top secret agency base, so he asks for assistance in getting her out as well as in erasing their names. Tess meets with Letty and devises a scheme to get her relocated by making it appear as though Letty is attacking her as a plan to free the Letty. Dom goes to a street racing event to meet with Diogo, along with a young woman named Isabel that Dom knows. Along with Diogo and Isabel, Dante arrives and dares Dom to a street race. Dante has planted bombs under their cars so that one of the two will die during the race, and he forces Dom to make the choice. Let's race! How do you choose the ones you save? Dom ultimately attempts to slow Isabel down, forcing Dante to blow up Diogo on the race. Dante then makes an attempt to attack Isabel in any case, but Dom manages to detonate the bomb while causing her car to crash. While Dante flees, Dom rescues her from the collision. Everyone dies. And one get that with no money what every account every dollar we made over the, we took everything. the other four eventually run upon bowie an old hacking companion of ramsey's when ramsey finds a file she discovers that dante is using her surveillance system god's eye to spy on dom's family members 
Roman had some money set up, but Dante ultimately drains their bank accounts. We need transport, weapons, cars. Just take a second. Ooh. What? I mean, that reward is dope. Ah, ah, wow. We okay. had. Oh, oh. oh. Ah. It's right here. It's Then the four are forced to find Deckard Shaw. Deckard Shaw believes that Han is there to fight and kill him, but more agency goons arrive and interrupt up their battle. Shaw kills them and realized from Ramsey that one of the possible Dante's targets is his mother Magdalene, so he leaves to protect his family. The rest of the group finds a ride to take them to safety. money has been split into accounts all over the world. He used our money to buy an army. You need to see this. They've been paid to target us. Oh. Foyer. I'm gonna dig some graves. Cypher and Letty both awaken at an agency hospital to gas the guards and free them, which she hacks the system. How does it feel to be on my side so long? Seems like you got Letty starts a fight while they are trying to flee, which results in them punching, kicking, and slamming each other. Letty tries to escape without Cypher after they come to their senses, but she discovers that the location is in Antarctica. In order to avoid suspicion, Jakob builds a bond with Little B make attempts to fit in with him. When they board the aircraft, a flight attendant who is a friend of Jakob informs him that three of Dante's henchmen are on board. Here's a drink that you ordered, sir. While he and Little B board a covert aircraft for Brazil as a pre-plane, he knocks them unconscious and let the woman to hide the bodies. Isabel awakens in Elena, who turns out to be Isabel's older sister, and Dom's apartment. She admits to Dom that she never thought Elena was the superior sibling and expresses doubt over who died first. She is reassured by Dom that this is untrue. They locate Dante's property connected to an abandoned police station with Isabel's assistance and discover Elena's old files on him. Except this one. The police station. I found my answer there. When Dom visits the station, he finds a lot of old recordings and videos of him and his family. Before Ames arrives to arrest Dom at there, Dante phones and taunts Dom about making him suffer before he dies, like his father taught him, while gazing out the window at Isabel. You never would have gotten behind that wheel. You got no honor. Without honor, you got no family. But without family, you got nothing. And now. I'm gonna break yours. Toretto, freeze! Time to face. There's a fight. That's no fun. When Dante bombs the convoy taking Dom, he is brought over the same bridge where the heist occurred. Tess and Ames engage Dante and his thugs in combat on the bridge. But Dante has a sniper on them that takes down both of them before aiming it at Isabel, who Dante had kidnapped. And I have a surprise for you. I'm not gonna lie to you. That little car. 
There she is. Off you go. May I please have the god's eye? Oh, there it is. While Dante takes God's eye from Tess, Dom moves Isabel out of the way and informs Dante that he is able to find his son before escaping. When Dom and Ames pursue quickly for little B, Isabel rescues Tess. So let me do you one better. Let's get your son. Dante tracks Jakob and Little Brian's location, but Jakob comes prepared with a cannon-loaded vehicle that blows the goons up. Unfortunately it got stuck and little Brian tries to help by climbing out the rear. But Dante takes advantage of this and kidnaps the youngster. Jakob alerts Dom before he can reach his brother. Then, Jakob sacrifices himself flips his bomb-filled car onto the approaching criminals, and exits in a tragic but epic blaze of glory, giving Dom a chance to escape. Now I beat your dad in the street race. Dom is dropped out of a jet in his car before two of Dante's sniper's choppers shoot his car with harpoons. But then Dom drives off the bridge and makes them collide and explode. When Dom reaches at Dante's car, he encourages little Brian to jump out and into it. You okay? I'm good, Dad. Cavalry's here. We got you. Roman, get out of here. It's a trap. A missile fired by none other than Ames, who has been partnering with Dante since the Rio heist, hits a plane carrying the rest of Dom's team. Dom watches as his friends crash into a mountain. Can't protect him. See, that's the problem with having a big family. Ooh! So what's it gonna be? Then Dante has two oil tankers try to crash with Dom and little Brian over a dam. So he does the only sensible thing and drives the vehicle over the dam while the tankers blow each other up triggering Dom to hit the nitro hard so they can escape the oncoming explosion. As soon as it appears like Dom and little Brian are secure. Dom can now go to heaven because Dante says he has endured enough pain.in movie shows. The entire dam is then set up to blow in a couple of seconds by Dante. Dom can only look in fear at his son. In Antarctica, when Letty and Cypher leave the building and they witness Giselle, who is, somehow, still alive, piloting a massive submarine out of the ice. While Letty watches in disbelief, Cypher seems to have prepared for this the entire time. Sucks. 
Midway through the credits, shows, an abandoned Dante facility is surrounded by police officers. One of the men answers a ringing phone that he discovers. Dante was his father's executioner on that fateful day, and hearing his voice made him his next target. The man, of course, is none other than Luke Hobbs. He simply tells Dante, I ain't hard to find. Yes, some bitch. Before crushing the phone to dust. You pulled the trigger. And now I'm gonna make you suffer. Well, I ain't hard to find. Um, bitch.